Hi, this is Russ Letterman from Dankmeyer Optical. I get a lot of questions about how to clean BinoViewer prisms and how to clean eyepieces. I'll show you the way I do it. You know, we do work out of Spectrum Thin Films in New York. Here's an eyepiece that's been well used, and um, a customer asked if I could work with this. He thought the coatings were bad. It's one of our D21 eyepieces, an old one, and this is from about 10 years ago. And uh, I'm looking at this, and here's how we clean it. Um, I'll try to get a perspective where you can see the, there you go, something like that. What I do is I take a Q-tip and I dip it in regular Home Depot acetone right there. Just make sure the excess is off. You don't want to flood the lens, but then I breathe on the optic <sighs> because um, some of these stains from <clears throat> you know from your eyes are not water solu soluble and then I just go around it I'll try to see if you can see what's happening here all that gunk is kind of gone already let's see if I can get a good view there you go we'll do our best here so you can see the effect that the acetone is having on the eyepiece I'm holding an iPhone so it's a little difficult but I'll go around the outside and I'll kind of bring it in from the outside toward the middle just like this swish it around a little and uh, just kind of leave it in the center let me see how this looks here if we can see you can see there's still some some stuff going on there and again I'm holding an iPhone and not really able to see exactly what I'm doing. Let's move back a little. Maybe that'll help me go around. And again, I'm going to breathe on it. <sighs> because body fluids from your eye, they don't come off with just acetone generally. A little spit, that sort of thing. You need to breathe on it and create some moisture that works with the acetone. And then I'll move it toward the center see how we're looking here yeah okay you can see the residue happening now I'm having more trouble than I thought I would because I can't really see what I'm doing uh, while I'm holding the iPhone but after you do this for a little while and you're really looking at what you're doing and watching what happens with with the uh, and see it's getting a lot better now let's pretend that I got all the peripheral stuff off which I will do after I'm finished with this video I use this q-tip this is available from stoner s-t-o-n-e-r in Pennsylvania I'll give it a little dip and what will happen is this hard kind of firm q-tip will take the last bit of residue off just like this you notice that there was residue in the middle and now you can see the lens looks a lot better um, I didn't get the the peripherals but um, I just can't really do that right now and, and uh, film this I just can't seem to do it but uh, I will go around the edge push in a little Watch out if you've got rubber. You don't want to really particularly contact the rubber with the acetone. I mean, it's not going to destroy it, but it will It will tend to degrade it a little. And uh, let's take a look now and see what we got. Yeah, well, still got a lot of residue. Uh, let's try to switch hands. I am a righty. So let's just do this. Yeah, this is a lot better. I think maybe that was part of my problem. We'll go around and just sort of swish it around toward the middle. Leave it out down there. Oh, don't want to drop, want to drop the eyepiece. <laughs> let's, let's take a look at it right now. Yeah, that, that improved it tremendously. Just like that. But it really should be a pretty gentle process. Now you just got a little bit of little bit of residue on the edges but 
it does look a whole lot better. And uh, I'll finish out with my compact Q-tip from Stoner. They call it a swab. And uh, these are invaluable in taking up that final bit of residue. Try to see here how much improvement we made. Well, if you look at the beginning of the video, you can see that there's a big difference here. There's a good shot of the surface of the lens. And uh, I'll work on that little bit of residue on the corner. But anyway, I don't take a cloth to my eyepiece lenses, never to my prisms. I just use this two-step process on eyepieces and on prisms. Mirrors are another story. You'll have to do your own research on that. But this is how I clean eyepiece lenses.